Uh, in this tutorial, we will give an overview of citation and referencing with Microsoft Word. So why do you need to use uh, citation and referencing when writing your uh, uh, documents or your technical uh, reports? And of course, you need to refer to the work made by others and you need to give credit, credit to the original work uh, made by others that you are using in some way in your uh, technical uh, uh, report. And you need to show that you have reviewed and got an overview of the fields that cover that you cover in your work. So that's the basics why you should use citation and referencing in your work. So next then, uh, how, how should you use it? Um, you need to refer to the source inside your text where the reference is used. So part of your text and where the reference is used, you need to insert a reference uh, to, to the source that you have used. And in the end of the document, you need to add a reference in, uh, in the reference list. So at the end of your report, you need to have a reference list where all the references that you have used are listed in, in that uh, reference list. So in the reference list at the end of your document, you need to include the following who, typically the author or the institution, uh, etc. Uh, when, year, and year, uh, and uh, date, month, and the day of the month. What, typically a title, if there's no title, insert a description. Where, where you have you found the resource. Typically, if it's a book, you need to include the publisher. If it's a web page, the name of the web page. And if it is a book, you typically need to include an ISBN number. If it's a web page, an URL, etc. So in the technical uh, reports, we typically use the IEEE uh, referencing style. So it's typically used in engineering and in in ICT studies. Uh, the references are numbered in, in the order they appear in the text and are enclosed in square brackets like this. So this is an example of the first reference used in your uh, report and this is the second reference. And then at the end of the document a reference list is placed where you um, give an overview of all your references and then you need to have focus on who, when, what and where. And the reference should appear in the numerical order that they are used in, in, the, in the text. And remember to refer to all your references in the reference list in the text. And as mentioned, in the same order as they appear in the list. So now let's see how this can be uh, done in uh, Microsoft Word. So now I have created uh, a simple uh, technical report here in Microsoft Word. I have a title page with a title, the name of the author and a date. And then of course you need to have a table of contents. And this is can be auto generated uh, by using the features within Microsoft Word. And then we have the different chapters. Typically we have an introduction chapter a system sketch and of course you need to refer and have uh, figure uh, titles and refer to those figures as part of the text then you typically have a section where you cover your methods and explain those methods in text and with figures then you have a results section where you give an overview of the results of your work, both within text, figures, tables, etc. And then a discussion chapter where you discuss your results in detail. And then finally a conclusion chapter. So now um, assume here in the methods section, we have used some work made by others so we need to refer to the uh, to this uh, original work so here i have a, a control system and 
assuming the, this structure of this control system design is based on uh, external reference so then I need to here in the text refer to that that source so then here in Word, Word Microsoft Word we have under references and here you find the tools in Microsoft Word for inserting citation and references and to make a list of references so then uh, assuming I have got this control system design from a specific um, textbook then I will just here click in the text where I want to insert that reference so I have my mouse marker here where I want to insert that specific reference then I go to insert citation and add new source and then this create source window pops up and here you can type different types of sources you have a book you have a report website etc so assuming uh, we have a book and then first thing we need to add is the author so assume I'm referring to a book by Elvis Presley the title could be control engineering of course I'm just making these things up you need to add a real uh, textbook that you are referring to here this is 2021 and the book was made in 2021 the publisher it's the publisher for this book is Wiley and also here you can show all uh, bi bi biography fields then you will get more fields so then the fields that you need to fill out is this with a red star or it at least it's recommended fields so now I have made the necessary information regarding this textbook then I can just click OK and then a reference has been inserted here where I had my mouse marker that's the first reference also here I have um, made a equation and the values in this equation is found in another uh, source assuming this is a web page so then I just here put my text marker where I want to insert the reference go to insert citation and add new source so assuming this is a web page I find the website here um, and then I need to add information regarding this uh, web uh, page so assume I have found this, um, this men as mentioned the, the values in this vacation from this uh, this website so it's in Wikipedia and the topic here is linear regression it's just an example so then the author is uh, typically a corporate author um, because Wikipedia is made by many authors so then I just click for corporate author and then Wikipedia and the name of the page is um, linear uh, regression and then of course the URL is important so then I just go to the web page copy the URL and put it here in URL here um, typically you need to specify the year that you was uh, accessing this this reference or so year as accessed and then 2021 month 11 and today is I'm sorry uh, this is first of December today so then we have year 2021 it, and then first of December which is to today's day you can also here click on show all um, fields to see if you need to add more fields typically you need to add URL day accessed, month accessed, year accessed and also a year when the web page was created, month, a day etc but typically the most important information is the name of the author the name of the web page and then did you access this web page and of course the URL 
and then I can just click OK and then you see a reference for this web page has been inserted here. So now I have inserted two references, one, two. Assuming I also have a reference here in under results. Assuming I want to include the same reference here. And then I can just go to insert citation and then use assuming I'm using the same reference here, this uh, book by Elvis Presley, the control engineering book. Then I just click and select this one and the same reference has been inserted here as well. And also here on the style, you can select different styles. So as mentioned in technical reports, you typically use the IEEE standard. So I have chosen this standard. Here in discussions, I'm not using any references and not any conclusions. So now I just need to create this final a list of reference. So then I just go here, insert a page break to start on a new empty page. Then I go back to references, select this one. And here you have some built in templates that you can use. So I choose to use this template. And then as you see, the list of references has been inserted here automatically by Microsoft Word. The next thing I need to do now is to just go here back to the table of contents and to just update this uh, table of contents. And also the references here are part of the table of contents. And if I want to insert more references here, I can just do this by clicking insert and add new sources. And when the new references has been included in the text, I just go to the list of references here um, and then select update citations and bible bibliography and then the list of references will be updated automatically for you so basically this is how you refer to work made by others so inside the text you need to have a number uh, like this so we start with number one, two, etc. In inside the text where we are referring to these sources, and then at the end of the document, we make a list of reference like this. And all these are more or less automatically created by Microsoft Word. So that's all. Uh, so good luck with your uh, technical reports on Microsoft Word. Thank you.